Hello and welcome to Bend the Knee, Song of Ice and Fire podcast. I am Sir Matt, the Bud Knight. Guys, we have some news, an update from George R. R. Martin himself on Winds of Winter, as well as some of the other Song of Ice and Fire Westeros shows that are going to be coming to HBO Max and things like that. So I thought I'd pull this up here and just share, uh, you know, what we've what we've got here. So um, it says random updates and bits of news. So. I look around, I don't know where 2021 went. I blinked and it was gone. Not a year that I'm going to mourn much any more than 2020. A global pandemic, so many deaths, including friends of his. Um, but he goes on saying, you know, an enor- I got a lot of work done in 2021, an enormous amount of work. In truth, I do have an enormous amount of projects, which those of us waiting for winds of winter is not good news because that seems to be the narrative um, for the last 12 years. Uh, so says so I'm not complaining. I like working, writing, editing process, the whole deal. Um, I know, I know for many of you, only one of those projects matter. I am sorry for you. They all matter to me. Yes, of course, I am still working on the winds of winter. I have stated that that a hundred times in a hundred venues, having to restrain it endlessly is just wearisome. I have, I made a lot of progress on winds in 2020 and less in 2021 but less is not none a world of west the world of westeros the world of a song of ice and fire is my number one priority and it will remain so until the story is told but westeros has become bigger than winds of winter and even a song of ice and fire in addition to winds i also need to deliver the second volume of fire and blood thinking of calling that blood and fire instead of uh, fire and blood volume two i actually think that's does sound better i think that's a better name I got a couple hundred pages of that one written, but there's still a long way to go. I need to write more of the Duncan Egg novellas, tell their stories, especially since there's a television series about them in development. Now, we have talked about that and we've seen some news on that, but he actually gives um, seeming a little bit more info here, I feel like, than we've had before. He says there's a lavish coffee table book coming later this year, an illustrated condensed version of Fire and Blood, which if that's the case, I'll probably pick up because I really liked World of Ice and Fire much more than I liked Fire and Blood, even though they do contain some of the same information. Fire and Blood is, to me, it's like a really, really dry book, in all honesty. It's it's like a history lesson. It's it's not very good. Whereas World of Ice and Fire is that big, nice orange book, and it's got like these really pretty pages. So if we get a more a better version of that, I'll probably pick it up. Um, saying working on uh, Elio Garcia, Linda uh, Linda Anderson, um, they worked on that, so they're going to be working on that as well. It says and another book after that, a Who's Who in Westeros. So that one's kind of new. I don't think we've I don't think we've heard of that yet. So we'll have to see what that ends up looking at. There's also successor shows, those that have taken a ton of my time and attention away this year. Uh, I have seen some comments uh, questioning how many, how much am I involved in the new, in these new series? The answer is a lot, deeply heavily involved in every one of the new shows. It's my world and I have been working closely with some fantastic writers and showrunners. Ultimately, it is up to me to try to keep the canon. Um, all I can do, you know, to help make these new shows great. So far, I'm very excited. House of the Dragon has wrapped filming as and I talked about that which I've seen I have loved I'm eager to see more I'm dying to tell you about them even though I'm not supposed to there are a few things I can tell you things that HBO has previously announced or hinted at right so we're developing live action shows for HBO and animated shows for HBO Max um no I can't tell you how many which to me means that they have more than what he's about to say which we know they've got a, quite a bit in development but so the fact that we're getting more uh, than he's telling us right now is kind of the cool takeaway is what I would assume he means. If you, if you say you can only tell somebody this is, you know, there's, these are all I'm allowed to tell you about. That means there's more. So some of the ideas we are working on quite different in tone and approach than what's gone on before. And that thrills me. The world of Westeros and Essos is huge. There's room for many types of stories and a wide range of characters. What can I tell you? Well, let's see. Uh, Bruno Heller, the creator of Rome, that was a cool HBO show, uh, has is writing a pilot script for the Corliss Valerian series. That one started out as Nine Voyages, but now we're calling it the Sea Snake since we wanted to avoid having two shows with numbers in the titles. The other one, 10,000 Ships, then a Myria series. Amanda Siegel, the showrunner, 
um, has delivered a couple drafts and we're forging ahead. The third live action show is the Duncan Egg series held by Steve Conrad. My team and I have had some great sessions with Steve and his team, and we really hit it off. He's determined to do a faithful adaptation of the story, which is exactly what I want. Um, the first season will be an adaptation of the first novella, The Hedge Knight. Contrary to what you have may have read online, the show will not be called Duncan Egg which would be mistaken for some as a sitcom. We will, we're leaning towards a Knight of the seven kingdoms though. The hedge Knight has its uh, partisans as well. So I will stop right there because essentially what could happen with this series is the same thing that happened with game of Thrones, although probably not as you know, disastrous as season eight and that George has, we know some of, we kind of know like a decent outline of it and we have the first three stories and then what we have through the histories of what happens with Dunk and Egg. So it's possible, right, that we, we're going to, this will progress past the ones we have written, which is supposed to be a seven story tale. We have three of the seven plus some legends, I guess, and, and things that happen after that. I like the name Knight of the Seven Kingdoms as a title, maybe a little bit, certainly more than Duncan egg for like an HBO max show. Uh, but I also kind of like the hedge Knight, kind of like that too. Either I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, but so season one's going to be the, if he's saying that season one is just going to be the hedge Knight, I mean, that's not really all that much stuff. I mean, the hedge Knight itself is like a three hour story. So you're going to turn, I don't know how you could, I don't know. I don't know how many episodes that's going to be. You'd have to almost do it like a Disney plus Hawkeye, you know, series where it's going to be like six episodes or, or, or something. I, I I don't know how you could get eight episodes out of that. The pace would be really slow because it's all just kind of one tournament at one thing. So maybe we get some backstory with Sir Arlen a penny tree and, and you're building up maybe eggs as well. Like we get to see like egg run away. Um, so some cool stuff, cool stuff there could could happen. Build up some more Targaryens. It's probably what they're going to do. Okay, moving on over on the animated side, while I am not allowed to talk about most of what's happening, except to say that things are moving very fast and I love, love, love some of the concept art I'm seeing. And well, come to think about it, the news leaked several months ago that one of the animated shows would be set in E.T. That is true. We, our working title is The Golden Empire, and we have a great young writer on that one, too. And I think the art and animation is just going to be beautiful. I would tell you more if I could. I don't think I can say a word about any of the other animated shows, plural. So there seems to be a lot uh, <laughs> coming uh, for Westeros. Uh, then he goes on to say House of the Dragon, right? Uh, and then he goes on to talk about wild cards and some of the other stuff. And yes, let me say this one more time, right? Yes, I am still working on the winds of winter. Current mood, tired. There he is. So this is all really cool. I got to say, um, the fact that we are getting more, there's more content really than I, it seems further along in development than I thought it would be. So the good news is there is a lot of Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire, Westeros content coming. The bad news to me is this, again, feels like we're not getting wins anytime soon. So that's kind of the thing, because the track record has been shown that when he gets he gets busy with all this other stuff, which is fine, though. I mean, at the end of the day. The Dunkin' Egg series is fantastic. The a lot of the other Westro stuff is great. So you begin to build that and build that out and everything. And. You know, I love the whole I don't just love A Song of Ice and Fire, that story. I love the world outside of it. Honestly, Duncan Egg is my favorite read. The Night of the Seven Kingdoms. I, I that's what when I when I obviously I read for the podcast, but when I really go back to read for fun, that's where I go. And I think House of the Dragons is going to be great. So it's kind of give and a take. There's going to be a lot of Westeros Game of Thrones content coming soon. Maybe we're still, you know, kind of hope, hoping for wins winter, but as long as it's good. It's great. I don't a ET show as I don't I have no idea what that could look like, but I'm excited for it. I have to say what I'm most excited for really is sound, just the tone he gives in this message to me says this Dunkin Egg thing is a lot long, a lot further along than I really thought it was. I think that's like years and years, and years away. I mean, the fact that they're that he's talking about it, we're coming up with getting the name right, get art, you know, scripts and stuff like that coming. So 
Cool. So I don't know, guys. I just thought I'd pop on here, share this because he just posted it today. And uh, see so what you guys think. Leave a comment. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And remember that winter is coming.